What is going on everyone? It's the All Gaming Blog here bringing you guys Black Ops 2 gameplay and excellent news for everyone. Resident Evil Revelations is coming to PS3, Xbox 360, PC and Wii U finally. One of the most well received Resident Evil games of all times coming uh, to consoles and being ported to the ports. Now previously this game was exclusive to Nintendo 3DS. Which uh, Resident Evil Revelations is a mix of horror, action, and in the cruise ship, ship rather. Um, it was very well received on the 3DS fans, but um, like like I said, it was sort of kind of an exclusive. Um, many players couldn't play it; they could only watch it, such as myself. I didn't; I never got the chance to play it because I still don't have a 3DS, even though I've well considering getting one uh, for tons of the exclusive games that are on it. Now. The excellent news is it's gonna come out for other consoles, so people that can, could never play it can now will now be able to play it. So, when is it gonna come out, you might be asking yourself. It's gonna come out May 21st for the United States, uh, or North America, and May 24th for e Europe. Now, on the Xbox 360, it's gonna come out as a disc, and it's gonna cost $49.99. It's also going to be on digital version for the PS3 and the PC. We still don't have a price tag, but I would assume that it's basically the same, uh, the same price. Um, again, it's gonna. Obviously, there were some issues with the game uh, because of the limitations of the 3DS. Uh, also, there's gonna be the the, the 3D gimmick. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna be there or not, but I would assume it's gonna be uh, sort sort of it. But there were some limitations with the 3DS. Of course, it's a handheld console that do very very powerful. It also has its uh, it, it it has its limitations, and the the game couldn't probably evolve as much um, as much as it could be. Uh, so obviously, there's gonna be an online raid mode, uh, also, which is a co-op. Um, it's gonna have enhanced HD graphics, and uh, obviously, it's gonna utilize the full potential of the PC platforms, the and the consoles platforms, and uh, which is always gonna. There was a problem. Uh, I think one of the most problems people have said to me um, in regards of when I asked them what the game was like, and, and uh, they said that they do recycle a lot of enemies in the game because, uh, well, that's that's kind of natural because the the game, it, you know, you can't really have that many uh, many peop many uh, variety of, of of monsters in the game because, you know, it, it's a handheld portable thing so obviously you got tons not just graphical limitations but obviously um, AI limitations as well so there was tons of recycling enemies uh, which is I can guarantee you right now that's not gonna happen on the console version they will fully utilize every single uh, you know new console uh, form that they have out there uh, obviously other than uh, the new graphics and new enemies there we're also gonna have uh, a new difficulty which is gonna be like a hell mode really really hard difficult or like the most hardest difficulty in the game uh, we're also gonna have new weapons to obviously uh, get used to that new difficulty and custom parts for, for those weapons I am truly excited by this and I'm gonna say I'm gonna go as far as say that I will get it as soon as it comes out which port I'm gonna get it? I'm not sure. I might get it for the PS3. Uh, although I probably should get it for the PC because obviously uh, it, it's uh, if I'm gonna record it, which I will, uh, it, I'm gonna have a better quality if I play it on the PC. But it de all depends on the system requirements, which I'm not much bothered about because I I think my this new game PC that I have will be able to handle it. But um, I don't know. Uh, this it will depend on the system requirements and on its features. To my experience, games all are always better on the PC than on consoles, and uh, but I don't know. It, it, we might not see. It, this might not be the case. I'm not sure. Now, uh, I'm very excited about this. I can finally get to play and record for you guys who haven't also played this game before. And uh, let's hope we all have a great experience. Now, I'm not. I don't know too much about this game. I've read some reviews. I've seen some footage. I've covered it up. Uh, when I was doing my history of Resident Evil, but I only covered it up briefly because the game wasn't even out when I did it, and I've kind of considered going back and redo some of, um, well, well, some of that, which uh, to include more details in it, which I didn't. Uh, I might when I get to the game. I'm not sure about that yet, but yeah, I'm a big ass Resident Evil fan. I've always been for ever since Resident Evil One came out, and I honestly, I'm very excited about this new Resident Evil coming out, and I will get it. And I will play it, and hopefully you guys will too. There is a co-op mode, and obviously a multiplayer mode. So if you guys 
will want to play with me as well, by all means, go for it. Right, so this is gonna be the end of this video, and look how many times I missed this guy. Freaking hell, I was chasing him for ages, and... Till I just stab him in his hand or whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, leave me your opinions on... If you're excited about this new Resident Evil uh, coming out for consoles now. And also, I don't know. Subscribe to me if you want to and all that cool YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching though. Peace.